I just bought a brand new Evolution cold saw blade from Amazon. I've also got a used one that's been professionally resharpened. Which one do you think will cut faster? The answer may surprise you. Hey fellow garage fabbers, sharpening. Did you know that was a thing? I used to. So I've spent most of my life in the city, but I've also lived several years in the mountains of Colorado. And city life and life amongst the trees are very different. There are words in Colorado vocabulary that don't exist in Vegas. What kind of chainsaw you got? Um, what kind of what? In Colorado, it's pretty common to see signs like chainsaw blades sharpened here, not in Vegas. My point is, since moving to the city, for some reason, the mentality of reusing didn't come with me until recently when I decided it was time to buy a new cold saw blade for almost $100. Man, I wish you could sharpen these. Sharpen! So I did a quick local search and found Tri-State Precision Grinding. Long story long, I brought my saw blade in and had it sharpened. But there's got to be a reason why this has never been a topic for discussion in any of my fabricator circles. The obvious reason is that sharpening must not be worth the trouble. So I figured it would be neat to compare them. How does an old sharpened blade measure up to a brand new one? But a cold saw requires a human to apply downward force on the machine's handle to make it work. And there's no way to ensure that a human would apply exactly the same amount of force continuously throughout the duration of the cut on both cuts. The only fair way I could come up with is to develop a thingy. A thingy without a brain or muscles. A thingy that would apply exactly the same amount of force on the saw handle without the aid of a human. This thingy would apply a little under six pounds to the saw blade. In hindsight, that was way too much, but at least they're equal. Since my thingy provides equal downforce on both blades, the only obvious measure of performance is time. How long would it take for each blade to cut through a three inch square steel tube with quarter inch walls? Here's the result. No surprise to me, the new blade wins. But what did surprise me was, it barely won. When I brought the used blade to Tri-State to have it sharpened, three of the teeth were badly damaged beyond repair. And when I got the blade back, I noticed that those teeth were ground down so they would never contact the work surface, turning my 66 tooth blade into a 63 tooth blade. I think that alone may explain the tiny difference in the cutting speed. Aside from speed, there's almost no difference in cut quality that I can tell. There's slightly more burrs on the back side of the cut from the sharpened blade, but nothing concerning. The metal after cutting with both blades were cool to the touch, and the straightness of both cuts were equal. I asked Tom at Tri-State how many times a blade can be sharpened, to which he replied, it really depends on how hard you are on your blades. The more damaged the teeth are, the more material needs to be removed, in order to sharpen them, and therefore, the fewer sharpenings you can get. Whereas, if you're nice to your blade, you can sharpen it several times. So here's the deal. This blade new from Amazon is $90, and sharpening my old blade cost me $24 and a little gas. And after comparing them, I will definitely be sharpening all I can from here on out. And I'm going to look into renewing some of my other tools around here. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, my friends, stay sharp and keep moving forward.